Hey there UK ADCers, today we're reviewing this which is the Benchmade 318 proper. You can get this knife, I think it's around about £130 with a clip point or a sheep's foot blade. Also available with G10 in variety of colours. Uh, this is available pretty much all over the show. You can get this knives and tools, high knee, um, other sites. <laughs> it's the UK so we don't have so many. Uh, this is, comes with Benchmade's famous warranty, which is, I guess, why their knives are also um, inflated in price. But and you know, you get if you haven't seen a Benchmade box before, it's very professional. Some foam. You get a bag that I've never seen anyone in the history of the world use. very simple but professional affair so onto the knife uh, I'm not usually a fan of these traditionals uh, I usually like a pocket clip uh, as this doesn't have one um, I've sort of had to use this because I don't have other things in my pocket and I don't want I don't want them banging against it or anything like that because I know you're not supposed to have anything else in your knife pocket but just because of the nature of where I work, I need to have other things in my pocket. So if it doesn't have a pocket clip, uh, I, I can't just leave it loose in there. Uh, luckily I bought this on Heine for like three quid or something like that. It originally came with a flap, but this didn't fit in it. So uh, cut that off and that works fine. Uh, I added the lanyard because it just makes it easier to just yank out of there. So that's how I'm carrying this. Um, I bought this mostly because I like Benchmade. I've got the the 940, which is a fantastic knife um, that I can't carry. So there's there's not many options, but Benchmade released this. Uh, I really actually quite like the look of this. It's got some small finish issues and things like that. But it's still a really satisfying knife to use, especially for a non-traditional fan like me. Uh, I can see, I don't know if you can see in there, you've got the blade stop to stop uh, blade wrap. Thank you Slick Slicers for educating me on that one. And it's just all around quite pleasant, like a, this is my first micarta as well, which is another reason I got this. Um, and it's nice. So the action on this to open is you got your half stop, which does stop there, which is somewhat annoying to me. But since, I mean, I, I have put a um, thumb stud on here to make it one hand opening. And you know what? It just does not suit this at all. Uh, it sort of ruins the look of some of the other ones I have. This one, it destroys it, it just, I mean, you can put it right in the middle of them butterfly wings and you can open it like that, but oh, I just thought, screw it, I'll just use this like you're supposed to. So it's very much an affair of that. And then that, uh, I like the nail nick on this one. It's, I'm not a super fan of traditional nail nicks, you know, like with the big thing coming down here, I just, Let that go. Like that. That kind of a nail nick. Um, I don't know, I just... I think that looks ugly to me. But to each their own. I think that's a much, much more pleasing design. But this is a very modern slip joint. Or very modern traditional. Washers are quite clearly phosphor bronze in there. The hardware on this is very limited. It's just three torque screws. I believe they're all the same size. You can certainly look it. Uh, what would they be? Do you know what? I'll go check. Yep, that's a huge plus from me. They're all, it's just three T6 pieces and all three of them are captive. That's incredible. That's right up my alley. Love that. Um, scales on this are 
my Carter over steel liners, which have cutouts in them to save weight, I guess. And yeah, I, I really like that Makata. I like the machine they've done on it. I don't don't get me wrong. I can certainly see some. There are places where they fucked up a little bit. Uh, I don't know how well the ca camera's going to be able to capture this, but like this side's got a little gouge out of it, like where they just machined it a little bit too much. And certain, like same there. Certain parts of this aren't exactly even. I mean, it's minor. It's really minor stuff. It's just. You know, that sort of price range, you can start to sort of expect to have it a little bit perfect. But uh, I guess that's the nature of the butterfly tax. Um, obviously, it's got a lanyard hole because I've used it. Holding this thing, you only really get one choice. And you get some jimping that's... Mm, Fairly ineffective. Uh, I mean, yeah, look, I can slide straight over that. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't really help that it's recessed into the back spine on the the spring there. So instead of having bits come up and then the recesses being in line with the back spine, you've actually got the heightened bits in line with the back spine and then the recesses going underneath. So that does nothing. And then that, like, if I really push down it like that, it sort of grips, but if I don't, no. So the jimping's a bit pointless. But the um, the grip, it's actually very nice. You know, you just, straight in there, they all fit under this little, there's nothing crazy, there's no, like, middle finger divots or anything like that. It's just, hold it like that. Do, do, do use it and then there you go the spring on the proper um i just say yeah it's strong enough the thing is is it's it's stronger the further down you get so this first bit that's not strong at all that's just look at that but it must be said that round to there, like that, that secondary motion to the half stop is a lot more difficult than just that. So, I don't know how to feel about that really. Like there, there's another like sort of, I know it's not an intended stop, it's just the way they've manufactured the, the pivot there, or the tang, I guess. Is it a tang on these? Someone let me know. But yeah, it's, I mean, I'll see if I can compare it to anything. Good old UK PK. Injury in. So that first bit straight away, the UK PK just has it. Yeah, yeah, the UK PK is stronger. Like, hmm. But then the UK PK, as soon as you break that, it's a nice smooth. So that's got a stronger lock up, whereas this has just got a gradual. Mm. I don't hate it, but then I like a weak spring anyway. So if you really like a strong spring, again, maybe go for something else. But the spring's fine, in my opinion. Um. As with the fit and finish on this, though, the spring's a major thing you can notice. Uh, I can actually get my nail on here, and I can just ride that back spring when it's open. And when it's closed. I mean, it sort of falls off about there. But it's it's not perfectly in line. If they'd have just taken a machine and gone over that a little bit, that would have had that flush. I can see parts of the Makata, which are... Very slightly, like there, that corner leading onto there, that corner leading onto there. You know that they're very, they're very small niggles. It's nothing crazy, but like I said, once you um, 
once you start hitting the over the £120 mark, you, in my opinion, you can start looking at these things and being like, okay, guys, I mean, this is a simple enough blade. There's nothing, there's no crazy features. They like don't have an access lock or uh, anything like that. But, you know, blade is a clip point, I believe. And this one is in S30V, which, I mean, they seem to have done very well, whatever their heat treat or anything like that, their Rockwell hardness. Uh, I have barely had to touch this with a sharpener, and that's not through lack of use. Um, although, I'll see, is it actually sharp? Like I said, I've sharpened this like once. Or I don't think I've even actually sharpened this. I think I just dropped this. I think that's the original. Yeah, it is. That's the original grind, because it's still all those. Yeah, all I've done is given this the occasional strop, and uh, so that's some that's some damn good S thirty V. I'll give it that. On this, all you get is your little S thirty V there and your Benchmade logo there. Nothing else. No made in wherever or anything like that. You get yourself a little sharpening choil here, which I'm very, very happy about. And the centering on this, I haven't taken this apart yet, by the way, is mm, does that have blade play? Yes, it does have a little bit of blade play. Okay, let me just try tightening that pivot a bit. Okay. Okay, the blade plate's gone. Maybe the pivot was just loose. You know, that happens over time, I guess. Maybe Benchmade didn't want to pay the extra for some Loctite. Um, yeah, so the... If you want blade play, the centering can be dead on. If you don't want blade play, the centering's going to be somewhat off uh, in that direction. So, I think everyone expects that of bench made at this point <laughs> so as for the size on this thing i'll put all the stats up on screen again i'm fed up of doing it on screen all the stupid things but uh for a comparison there's that one that we had earlier um have a little wasp and it it's just a, it's a bit boring in the UK doing this one because they all tend to be about the same size. <laughs> just because of our knife laws are so extremely restrictive. Gets a bit more fun Ooh. once we go to the old American side of things. So yeah. As always, it's smaller. So, I mean, I sort of shocked myself with this one. I, no, I have my fair share of traditionals. I'm not, I'm not against them by any means. It's just because I have stuff in my pocket all the time, I don't like throwing a knife in my pocket with other stuff because it's going to get battered. So it's, that's just sort of me. And I also, the other thing I don't like is, I don't I don't like the, the time to open it, do that. I know that's, that's an attractive thing for a lot of people because it's, uh, it means using your knife is a very methodical, definite practice. You take it out and you're opening that, you're definitely wanting to use it. You take your time with it. You're not rushing. It's not a. It's a. You know. It's a. An absolute thing you're doing. I suppose it's, it's a weird way of saying it, but I, I understand the appeal completely. But I. I don't really use these so much in my own free time. I mean, I, I do around the house, but in which case this is fine. You know, this is always near my desk, um, and I'll quite often pick this one up if I'm opening something near my desk, but. When I'm at work, I 
much rather just be able to pull it out, open, and then straight away again. Uh, that's just me. But um, that hasn't stopped me. That hasn't stopped me using this. And that wasn't just for the review. Uh, I've looked at this several times and been like, you know, I, I do want to carry this, this proper. I do want to carry this traditional. Uh, it's got a distinguished air about it. It's very non-threatening, as is the case with most traditionals. Um, and again, that's because you can't deploy the blade very quickly. You know, this is a lot scarier than that, which is its own thing, I guess. It's, I mean, I know I'm not one to talk about this because I buy all these stupid expensive knives. I buy three of the same stupid expensive knife. Uh, I can still see that, look. Okay, so let, let's break this down. What are you get in here? American made, American company, so American labor. You're getting S30 V steel, you're getting Makata scales, okay? How's that compare? Let's do a direct analog. American made knife, American made like labor. It's S30 V, it's the same steel. You've got decent handles, G10. How is this one about £40 cheaper than that one? They're both very well respected companies. The The material difference is... I mean, who's paying 40 whole pounds for just changing G10 to Makata? You know, I'd have been fine with either. I do think it's a tad pricey. Um... I'm not really that bothered by it, you know, it's not, it's nothing like, I mean, I've seen some titanium knives that add £150 on going from aluminium like that to titanium and changing nothing else. It's like, sheesh, that's an expensive upgrade. So it's not outside the realm of possibility, but, you know, if you really want an S30V knife, that's fairly decent, you can absolutely go that route. Uh, what I am going to do now is... I haven't done this yet, so I'm just going to give this a little disassemble. And I like to do this with all of my knives. I just like to see how they operate inside. I'm a bit weird like that. I just love to know. And there we have it. So you got those face saving holes, just your Makata over there. And it's beautifully simple. It is your, your phosphor bronze. And it's a, that's a fat old spring. And you can see that's your stop pin there. So when it closes, that stop pin just, wouldn't you know it? stops the blade from hitting the back spine there so yeah um if you're looking for a traditional there's many better ones you can get out there much better materials uh for a lot less you can even get some custom ones uh paddy had a guy uh, paddy's potato peelers had a guy that was doing custom made slip joints with nicer materials for less money which i mean you can't if you're getting a custom for less than this what's the point in this but i mean it's a trusted brand with a great warranty you know they'll do their lifetime blade one if you trust sending your knife to america and believe that border control won't just seize it But uh, yeah, if, if you really must have it, I'd suggest, yeah, just go for it. <laughs>